By now, we have pieced together an incredible fact about our world. We are made of these teeny vortices of energy known as atoms. Quantum physics emphasizes that the universe is not really split into two realms, a material realm and an energetic realm. Quantum physics reveals that everything is made out of energy. What we perceive as matter is actually an illusion of energy and light, that there is nothing physical. You know, what do you mean? I say, well, first of all, a very simple fact. When physicists started to take the atom apart and find there were things inside, such as protons, neutrons, and electrons, then they say, yeah, but what are those things made out of? Then they got down to smaller things like quarks, and then I say, yeah, but what were they made out of? And ultimately, what physicists recognized was at the fundamental core of an atom, there is nothing material at all. It's an energy vortex. It's a powerful energy field. And that all atoms are these energy fields. And the significance about that is, well, atoms make up humans. And so by definition, we perceive ourselves as physical structures, but according to quantum physics, we're energy vortices. But question, if mostly all of the material universe is made of these guys, particles of pure energy, then why does everything appear so vastly different? I mean, shouldn't it all look and feel and be the same since everything is made of the same energy particles? Isn't this aluminum can made of atoms just the same as this chlorine gas? And then sometimes, why do they look so similar but have such different powers? Like, these are all different metals, but two of them our bodies can consume in small traces. In fact, they're vital minerals that our bodies need to survive. But one of them can seriously damage our brain cells. Why? Why such different powers and abilities? Almost like they're all different energies. Well, that's the beautiful part. Do you want to know the only difference between one atom to the next? The amount of energy inside. Mm -hmm. Specifically, the amount of positive energy inside. Like this aluminum can is made up of trillions of atoms that each have 13 balls of positive energy in the center or nucleus of each atom. And this chlorine gas is made up of trillions of atoms that each have 17 balls of positive energy at center star or nucleus. That is the only difference between the two. And that makes them look and act completely different. When you have a substance made of the same exact repeating atom, we call that an element. Which leads us to the periodic table of the elements or repeating atoms. Looking at the center or nucleus of this atom on the left with one ball of positive energy inside, which atom is this? Well, let's see. The table of elements is arranged by number or amount of positive energy. Just look at the top left-hand corner. See how hydrogen has one ball of positive energy inside? That's right, that's hydrogen. Now, which atom is this? Looking at the center or nucleus of this atom with 13 balls of positive energy inside, which atom is this? Go from left to right look for the number 13. Aha, if you said aluminum, that is correct. Notice the different sizes of atoms depend on how much positive energy is inside. That is called the atomic number. So now it's your turn. Pick an atom that you want to paint and click on this video to learn how.